What's going on everybody? It's been a while. My apologies for being quiet lately, uh, but just kind of stumbling through the end of this year here. <laughs> but um, wanted to do a video today on Christmas Eve and uh, decided to come to the park and do a quick video and then do my walk. But once I got here, realized it's really windy. And uh, I figured, well, I'm in the back part of the trail here where there's not much wind. So I was like, you know what? Been wanting to do a, uh, a video where I'm walking. I've had people ask me to do that. So here we are, here I am walking. It's beautiful, 70 degree day, but windy. Uh, I am at, um, God, what's the name of this park? I forgot the name of this park. I think it's Lee's Summit. Yeah, Lee's Summit Park. It's literally two minutes from my apartment, so it's very convenient. But uh, today I just wanted to talk about Christmas again. Did a video back a few weeks ago about, you know, how Christmas or holidays in general isn't uh, always the funnest thing. Um, well, here we are, we're at Christmas. And uh, just wanted to talk about how, you know what? It's okay if it's a normal day, it really is. I know a lot of you are gonna be alone or don't care or do care, but just in a situation where uh, you don't have family around with you uh, and, and all the different reasons behind that, whatever it may be, if, if you find yourself oh, entering another windy zone here, I hope I don't make you all dizzy from turning around like that, but um, just know that you might feel alone, but you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there that Christmas is just another day. Honestly, if it wasn't for Skylar, it'd be another day for me. I wouldn't have a tree up. I wouldn't have you know anything going on. But fortunately, I have a child. I kind of like her a little bit. But so she's definitely helped me enjoy Christmas again, especially when she was younger. Halloween became a favorite. I didn't like Halloween personally. I mean, I liked the candy, but I didn't really care for dressing up a whole lot. I did it, but it was always always made me nervous. I don't know why, but um, so in my later, even my heaviest party years, I hated Halloween. I just stayed home. I didn't like going to costume parties. Just didn't like it. Anyways, we're not talking about Halloween here. We're talking about Christmas. Um, so I am fortunate where, you know, I have my daughter with me. We're doing Christmas morning together and she goes to her mom's at noon so they can do their Christmas. Uh, and then now, as you all know, my mom and grandmother live here now. So we're planning on going for a drive today. Uh, I want, or my mother and I have been talking about it. We want to try to go find some Christmas lights, but also, um, I want to try to um, take my grandmother for a drive so she can see the Mississippi River, uh, which would be kind of a cool thing for her, right? She's never seen the Mississippi River. Uh, there's a nice spot in Memphis that would take me, take us 20 minutes to get there, 20, 30 minutes, easy drive. But that's kind of how we're planning the holiday and then as far as Christmas Eve, I hope this wind isn't too loud. If you don't hear it and you're wondering why I'm talking about it, that's a good thing, because I don't want it to screw up the noise here. But uh, So Christmas Eve, a uh, family drive, which will not be stressful at all. And then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow, through morning with Skylar, and then we're gonna go to my mother's apartment and give them a couple little gifts and just kind of hang out for a little bit. And, that's gonna be our Christmas. But also no, it's just, it's okay if it's just another day. You might be straight up like, I just don't celebrate Christmas. And, you know, I don't feel like doing it. All right, well, that's awesome. You know, do your thing. But I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, for one reason or another are not as fortunate as others. And they're probably pretty lonely on Christmas. So, if you're watching this and that's one of you um, you're not alone um, I'm thinking of you 
But also, uh, I encourage you, even the ones that are celebrating Christmas, everyone that's in, our, in my Facebook group, and if you're not there, you can find me in Facebook, just search my name, Derek Mishu, the same name as the channel. And come on in, and I encourage all of you to communicate with each other, talk to each other, it's okay. Throw in a post, start engaging with others. If there might be some threads where there's a handful of you that are alone on Christmas, and would like to feel like you're socializing and not alone, by all means, use the group to uh, do that. I'll make sure to go in there and, and approve things and get things moving along. Uh, or even in uh, this video with the comments, you guys are amazing with leaving comments, but feel free to reply to some of these comments and start conversations with people. I see a lot of the same faces, believe it or not. I get thousands of views and thousands of comments over all these videos. <clears throat> Um, but there's definitely some repeat uh, commenters <clears throat> that I see every video and uh, I appreciate you guys for doing that <clears throat> so going for a walk it's pretty out here uh, and I don't know what else to say <laughs> I will say that 2021 has been an interesting year. I'm looking forward to next year. Like I said, I'm kind of just limping through as I do every year. This is a normal thing for me is this time of year, um, regardless of the emotional or mental aspect of holidays, it's just, just ready to get through them. Uh, school is out, which I like, but it's also just screws my rhythm up and it's easy for me to lose motivation and uh, and just the eagerness to go for walks or do anything really. So it's school school breaks turn into semi vacations for me, which is okay. But if I'm not careful, I could also get really depressed because I'm just laying around. Um, so that's what's going on here. Just limping through. My birthday is January second, so that's always. The day that I'm like, I'm not celebrating at my age. I couldn't care about birthday parties, but it's definitely, uh, yes, the holidays are over. And then the school goes back into session. It's a new semester. Kind of get back into the groove of things. Um, even though it's just like another month, another week, another day. I don't know. It's just something about flipping that calendar over to a new year that kind of resets things. So I'm already building a list of some goals that I want to meet in 2022. I'm not overly crazy about, you know, having this big day where I'm meeting with my team and setting goals and, and, uh, and just quarterly goals and yearly goals and how to break those down daily and mindset. We just keep working. But me personally, there's some things I want to accomplish in 2022. I've got the Real Hernando podcast that's going to launch. I do have a date. Some things are in the works. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. But uh, you're going to be hearing about the Real Hernando podcast a lot next year. Because that's going to be a big thing. I have some ideas for this channel. I'd like to start interviewing people in the same space. Uh, go out and meet uh, some people in the community where we can get people's stories on depression, anxiety, victims of narcissism, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, anyone that has a story, uh, I'd like to hear it. The reason is because I feel like that'd be a cool addition to the channel. Instead of it only being me, invite people to give us their story and I've discovered that I enjoy those kinds of interviews those are the interviews that I'm doing for the real Hernando um, which I'm getting the stories of the business owners behind the business they're not business tutorial videos my pod logics podcast is very informational I'm interviewing people in the podcasting space and we're talking about best ways to do this and the best three ways to do that and it's cool 
but it's not as fun of an interview as the interviewer. Well, I've quickly learned, I've, I've interviewed a handful of businesses now in Her The Real Hernando. Um, you'll learn more about this as we go here, but uh, man, I enjoyed it so much. Trying to interview and just getting their story is so much easier and more enjoyable and more engaging, but I wanna do more of it. So why not do that for this channel too? among other videos, but that's sort of my goal, is to now kind of implement some interviews for the channel, which will be a longer form video. Uh, I want to try to get back into music. I took a year off uh, this month, literally, I would say about a week ago. I don't know the exact day, but it would be the anniversary of no playing my bass guitar. Not, I'm not talking just no gigs, I'm talking no playing. For the first few months of, la of this year, I was playing guitar, like normal strict string guitar, um, just to have fun. I was learning like Metallica songs. Because the regular six string guitar was the first instrument I played. That's where I started. And then I flipped to being a bass player. But, so I was still playing a little music then on the guitar. Then that quickly went to the side. I just got burnt out. I just wanted to just take a take a step back, especially with the bass. For 20 years, the bass guitar for me represented hustle and chasing gigs, having a lot of fun, a lot of partying, uh, learning a lot of songs, learning a lot. I learned so much as a musician over the last 20 years, but it just got burnt out and. I did not say, you know what, I'm taking a year off. It was, I'm done. Like, I'm just putting the stuff up and I have no desire to play and didn't care how long that would go for. Uh, over the last couple months, I did get a little electronic drum kit, which kind of kept me doing something musical. And I still like watching a lot of like mu musical uh, instructional videos on YouTube. So now I'm starting to get an itch and it's just funny. It's like, it's been a solid year, felt good to kind of get that monkey off my back. And one less thing to just stress about. And, and again, it's always a chase to try to find a good band to play in. I was just done with all that. But uh, now it's like, you know what? Maybe I can get back on it a little bit next year. Uh, but what I want to do is try to break into the studio world and uh, you know I've always thought it'd be cool to be more of a studio musician it's a totally different ball game completely different type of player you can be an amazing touring artist or touring musician and you're playing with all these big acts and big big bands and you're touring the world and you're an amazing player but that doesn't necessarily mean you're good in the studio vice versa you got studio musicians that just know the art of sitting down and, and recording to a song and having it sound good and being creative on the spot and thinking of something to do right there in the moment, uh, but can't survive on the road. They just don't even like traveling, never mind being on a stage. It's just not their feel, not their vibe. And then you got some musicians that just do both and they're awesome. So I've always wanted to do studio work. And it's so hard to break into that world so much easier to be a live player and, and be in bands and gig and that's way easier there's more opportunity but you got markets like nashville even with all the mom and pop and home studios now it's very much a buddy system a studio uh producer already has a bass player that he calls that's it you know it's that one guy for years and years and years he uses the same guitar player same drummer it's hard to break into that. Often also, the producer will play the bass. You know, like they don't need a bass player because they're a guitar player and they'll just play the bass guitar too. And so it's just hard to, to break into that world. I do have a friend in Nashville that I've toured with that has a studio, is making, you know, demos and records for people. He doesn't know this yet, but you know, Monday, January 3rd, it's the first work day in the new year. I'm contacting him and I'm gonna throw it out there and be like, hey, 
I would love to get some practice and some beginner's experience in the studio. Is there any way that you can include me in your roster of musicians and get me some work or something? It's a place to start. But that could yield nothing. And he's my only real hope, my only contact into that world. Maybe he can introduce me to someone. We're going to find out. But again, that's a 2022 thing. I'm trying to put some list together of things I want to accomplish uh, next year. And uh, it'd be cool. If the studio thing doesn't work, you know, now with my mom living here, I'll start having more flexibility on traveling again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear here. But one thing I don't want to do and have no interest in doing is going back to just playing local bars. It's, that's something I just, I'm, it doesn't pay enough, first off. And the reason why it doesn't pay enough is because the bars have been paying the same amount of money for live entertainment since the 80s. It's like there's no, there's been no change. You know, 400 bucks is usually your normal pay for a whole band that you divide up four or five ways and it's such a long night. It's not just playing three one hour sets. It's the two hours of setting everything up and the hour at the end of the night, breaking it down and moving all the gear into your vehicles. And then you get back home super late and then you get to empty your vehicle and you know, wheel all your crap into the apartment or to your house. And next thing you know, it's like 3.30 in the morning by the time you get home or by the time you get in bed. And it turns into an eight, nine hour night for $75 and not really have fun, uh, that's no good. I haven't done that in years and I have no interest in doing that. But uh, any kind of connections I have in Nashville will be will be contacted next year and trying to do the bigger, better stuff. Quality over quantity is the way to go. So um, that's really it. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day tomorrow, whether, you know, it's Christmas, Merry Christmas, or Merry Normal Day. <laughs> Go to the Facebook group, communicate with each other, have some fun with each other, um, especially if y'all are alone and don't want to be alone. Well, use the group as a place to just meet some other people and chat. Um, yeah, and I might do another video tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, more stuff to come next year, and I'm looking forward to uh, giving you guys more content, especially with the interviews. I'm excited to start implementing interviews. Oh, and the other thing, someone asked me, I should have said this in the front end, because a lot of you, half of you don't make it this far, but I was asked once, hey, can you make it so we can share your post in the Facebook group, meaning the when I put in a post promoting a new episode or a new video, people have asked why I can't share it because that you can't share uh, a post within a group outside of the group. Um, well, what I can say is go to my channel and just grab the link for the video. Uh, I think it's like one of those deals where you go to the video and you see those three little dots or you see the arrow, the curve arrow. It says share, click on that, grab the link, and by all means, post it on your, your Facebook. Put it out there. I would love it if you guys shared that. Um, but it just, you know, it will take a little work. It's not as simple as just sharing a Facebook post. You'd have to go to the channel, grab the link, post it on your personal page. But feel free to do that as much as you can. That would, that would help the channel which being monetized would obviously bring in more money, which will bring in better content. I do want to do videos that have editing and, you know, show you around rather than just me talking, uh, but doing videos that would take editing. Well, it, it costs money. I'm not doing it. I have editors for that, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> by all means, share away, share as much as you want. I would super, super appreciate it. But all right, y'all. Merry Christmas Eve, merry same old day, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you.